Hi everybody, this is Matt. I am going to start with the individual uh, segments of the conduction system now. And we will start with the sinoatrial node, also known as the SA node, and also known as the pacemaker of the heart. So we will go back and uh, revisit what we did on the last presentation in regards to, and I'd like to thank again, uh, my uh, former colleague, Professor Sesto in Germany, Mannheim, Germany, for this Arrhythmia Compendium number two, Arrhythmia Compendium number two, and this is where we have the content in regards to anatomy of the conduction system of des Herzen, or of the heart. So, we are going to focus today on the sinus uh, knoten, or the sinus node. And the sinus node, again, is located at the juncture of the, in, the inferior aspect of the superior vena cava or just as it enters the right atrium, and the uh, most upper part of the right atrium, right there, okay? So, the SA node is the control center for the start of a normal heart's electrical activity. It does this about 60 to 90 times a minute if you're doing like I'm doing, sitting here. Of course, if you're sprinting down to catch a bus at the bus station or the bus stop, it responds to the change in demand by increasing the rate. And that's a very clever system, but it has the capacity to be able to speed up when you have higher demands and slow down when you have less demand. But the minimum, approximately, that it keeps your heart beating 24 hours a day is about 60 times a minute. Some people, like athletes like moi, at, at night can have a heart rate down in the 40s, and that's normal for them because they have a very trained heart. And trained hearts, if you want to get motivated to exercise, be, in general, more slowly and more efficiently. And what happens there is the heart slows, the left ventricle fills more completely, and because of the starling effect, it springs back like a rubber band and whoosh, the blood flows more vigorously out to your body and brings that oxygen to every cell that's waiting to uh, pick it up and get rid of the waste products that it has, uh, those cells have produced. So, okay, that's um, essentially what the pacemaker does. The pacemaker initiates an electrical signal uh, 60 to 90 times per minute and the signal goes out from that area at the uh, juncture of the uh, superior vena cava and the right atrium in a wave-like fashion, a wave-like fashion, uh, exactly in the same fashion as if you took a stone, point, into a little pond of water, and those wavelets spread out rhythmically. And that happens 60 times to 90 times a minute that wave-like transmission of that electricity is the depolarization of all the myocytes. And that travels down through the atria and over to the left atria as well through the Bachmann's bundle. It's a little trivia. Uh, Bachmann's bundle is a, 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 a transmission uh, from the right atria over to the left atria and then downward to the atrioventricular node. So that's kind of the substance of the first part. That's the SA node. Sometimes the SA node does not work well. 
you can't trade it in. Well, you can kind of trade it in. You can buy a pacemaker. Pacemakers uh, are not cheap. Pacemaker implantations are uh, well established. They actually started 50 years ago and it was developed by um, a Dutch uh, physician and that development was the roots of the company Medtronic who I work for uh, in Europe. Very good company and they historically um, and uh, the physician who uh, I think it's Dr. Bakken if I'm not uh, mistaken that uh, those were the roots of pacemakers. Pacemakers when they first started were implanted in the abdomen because they were like a hockey puck and for those who have played hockey hockey pucks are fun to hit with a stick but you don't want one in your belly controlling your heart so now pacemakers are implanted just under the skin here below the the shoulder blade. They're about the size of a silver dollar, roughly. Um, and they, they're they very small. You can still see a little bit of a lump after they're implanted, but um, that would be what you might require to have that is an implanted uh, pacemaker. If you are a natural pacemaker, the sinoatrial node the SA node uh, is not working right. Okay, so that's a whole other topic. Uh, we'll get into uh, devices in uh, a later segment of this whole um, production. And um, that is essentially what I wanted to make uh, note of for the SA node, that it is uh, located uh, on the upper part of the right atrium, that it beats normally 60 to 90 times a minute. Those impulses go out in a wave-like fashion across to the left atrium and down to the AV node and it causes the contraction of the myocytes and initiates um, in that um, part of the heart the emptying of the atria into the ventricles. So that's part one and I'll be back with the AV node in the next session. Have a good day.